What's up, what's up, family? This is your girl Stephanie, aka ED Nihas to Stop the Fly. Currently here, um, just doing a collective read at this point. Just wrapped up on uh, Earth Signs. Could lose this call, maybe it's better this way. Alright. For the collective. It says you may have been having a hard time moving on to calmer waters. But Spirit says go, go into meditation, just rest. It's not um, something that the what 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 your attention and focus need to be on at this time is just balancing your emotions. You know, getting a grip on your emotions. There's a transformation that needs to happen. In that, in that sense, and how you feel about the situation, really situation, like really tap into um, how the situation is making you feel. I do definitely feel that there um, is a victim mentality, and spirit wants you to take back your power. You're you're no victim. You're no victim. Okay, things may not have went the way you wanted it to, to go, you know, may not have worked out in the way that you wanted it to, you didn't get wish fulfillment for, from a certain situation, but use that, use, use the emotions, use what you feel to, and learn from it, like, you know, how, how does this, how can this, what was I supposed to learn from this, and let, allow the, the fail, if it, if you, if you perceive it as a fail, allow that, to make you stronger. Yeah, you know. There may be people around you saying, see, I told you that wasn't going to work. No. You, people who, you know, have gone on to do many, you know, great things, they failed. There's been failure after failure after failure. Allow, you know, Make the failures fun. <laughs> you know, it's just part of the journey. It's part of the journey. Don't take it so serious. And don't don't allow other people to make you take it seriously either. You know? Yeah. Like you said, get a hold of your emotions. Excuse me could be coming from people who are afraid to take that leap of faith because of you know the, the chance that they may fail but spirit says again find the joy find the happiness in it look at it from a space of a child you know that have that childlike uh inspiration um and emotion that imagination and take the leap of faith because we have the sun card and the full card to come out to clarify the three of wands and the page of cups. You know, you not you hadn't allowed yourself to just imagine and to just be in that light energy of, of awe and wonder. Like I say, there may have been some, some things that didn't work out or whatever, but just use that as inspiration to continue to build. And Spirit says that's the truth. Like, you know, got these people, nurture the idea. You know, just like you know, a child growing up. They're going to make mistakes. You just got to recorrect them and get them back on course. So. Nurture this idea. You may have, you know, put, put it on pause or on a break. Because things have just been kind of chaotic. There's been some confusion or whatever. But Spirit says, center your energy, meditate, um, and the, the clarity will come. As we have here, the judgment card awakening. You're awakening to, you know, the fact that they were, there may have been some outside energy that had you stagnant and moving forward. But 
Again, don't take it so seriously. Gain control over your emotions. Really take that journey into the darkness, into the unknown. Meditate. And take back your power. Take back control. Get back into that leadership state. You know, don't be so, like, I feel like you're too much into your emotions. Um, perhaps at this time about a situation. And spirit wants you to tap more into things from an intellectual space. Use emotional intelligence. You know. And take that leap of faith. Because we got the King of Swords. And the King of Swords can be, you know, very intelligent. I mean, of course, if he, he is very intelligent. He's well-traveled. He's very wise. Spirit wants you to look at this at the situation from a wise point of view as well because this change and transformation in your emotional state is going to bring in the clarity that you need to overcome whatever lies and deceit that may be around you in regards to the situation in regards to not being it, there's whatever it is, something is like I say has you stuck, and you're unable to move forward. Willpower and determination has you in this victim mentality because something didn't work out, and so you may be, like I said, in your emotions and. Doubting whether you should keep moving forward. But Spirit says, again, tap back into that childlike energy of excitement about it. Tap back into that energy. You know. Again, you may have been too serious. Like, don't. Just because you failed doesn't mean that it's a complete failure. It's just. There's more learning to do. So take back that leadership role. Get back in control. You know. And allow spirit to guide you. Release the burden. Get back to work, eight of pentacles in the upright. Get back to work on it. Release the burden of all these other people and their doubts. Um... They're, they're naysaying like oh well it didn't work I told you like release all of that that's just part of the journey you know again tap back into that page like energy because once you release that burden you'll be able to get those creative ideas again let go of that, that lack mentality that may have you know set, settled in from the seas of these people, you know, maybe taunting you about, told you it wasn't going to work. Hey, that's just part of the journey. It's just part of the journey. Exactly. So not of emotions. I'm getting again that light, joyful, childlike excitement and energy. Regain that within the seeds that you have sown. Again, you've sown some seeds and they may not have reaped the harvest that you wanted them to because maybe you didn't use the right fertilizer or whatever. You know, just go back to the drawing board. You know, and don't allow people to, you know, nitpick at you to where you 
release and you just give up. The five of uh, swords here. Because there's abundance. Like, regain your security in what it is that you want to do, that you want to achieve. Again, failure doesn't mean that, that it's a complete, that everything is a failure. No, just take the lessons. Just take the lessons that the failure provided. You know, retweak it, retweak things, go back to the drawing board and get back to it. So, bottom of the deck, surrender your need to always be right. Okay? So, like I said, so that's probably another reason why this is so heavy on you. The failure may be, you know, heavy it's because, you know, you've had so much. You, you just wanted it. You want it to be right so much, and you usually are right. So, when this happened, it's like, you know, this gave a chance for people to kind of gloat in your face. But it's okay. We're not going to be right all the time. It says give others the gift of letting them be right. I'm like, okay, well, you got it. It didn't work, but it's all right. I'm going to get back to it. You know, I'm going to do what I need to do. Maybe there, maybe someone gave you some advice that you didn't, you know, take and things kind of fell through. Be like, okay, 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 cool. You know, and keep it moving. It says, be yielding, not rigid. You, like I said, you may have been rigid in the way of doing something. You didn't want to take some advice. You could have been stubborn. Never know. But Spirit is saying, you know, surrender frustration, surrender worry. Those are two parts that's out here as well. Yeah, it may be frustrating that it didn't work out. But don't, but surrender worry. Don't worry that just because this didn't work out this time that you can't go back to the drawing board and, and, just get back to it, you know, it's, you know, it's so interesting that I used the word intimate circle, and I believe it was in one of the readings, I forget which one, I think it was, oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do, I think it was in uh, Taurus's reading, no, it was Virgo reading, um, it says, something about the in, their intimate circle is trying to bring correction spirit is bringing correction through your intimate circle but you're defensive okay and so I kind of feel like that may some of that energy may be here what was Taurus but you know Taurus reading says spirit says go don't allow the doubts of other people uh, I think that one has the intimate circle. Don't allow the doubts of your intimate circle to uh, distract you from the vision. Right? So there may be some correction coming in from the outside, but that doesn't mean stay stagnant. Still move forward. Um, let's see what Capricorn reading. It says, Spirit put you on pause. To get give you clarity before propelling you, something like that. I only can see the first few words. So you may have been pause on pause for a minute. Things may seem like it wasn't working, like it was a failure or whatever. But don't be defensive. If people try to come and they may taunt you that it didn't work out, keep pushing, keep going. No matter what, surrender the frustration, surrender worry, surrender your fear of intimacy, you know, that inner circle. So you may not want them to talk bad on you. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. <laughs> you know, you may feel like your ship's not coming in and all the, everything that you were saying and how big you know, everything is going to be, you come into this failure and people be like, I thought you said this and the third, it's okay, it's all good, they can, yeah, they can talk, they talk, they can talk, they shit, but, you know, don't stay in that energy too, too long, 
you know but the surrender your fear of intimacy says you're ready to let love in compassionately identify <clears throat> and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart you know don't fear being getting intimate with this idea again doesn't necessarily have to be a person don't you know fear getting back again to the nitty gritty and re, re you know back to the drawing board you know keep your heart open to this idea because you're ready to let love in you're ready for this thing to be successful yeah you are okay but don't rush it you know spirit has your own pause for a moment to get clarity you know maybe about the people around you you know with the fear of intimacy maybe you maybe you have the wrong people around you but there's some things that you needed to see maybe that's the reason why spirit had you stagnant as well why you had to fail oh come on that's a word maybe that's the reason why you had to fail because spirit wants you to see the people around you and how they were going to react to said failure if they were going to support you and undergird you and lift you back up or if they were going to yang 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 maybe that's what you needed to see you know surrender frustration it says frustration doesn't open any doors you know you may have been frustrated by those people that you loved you thought they were going to support you um but they just so more they just sold confusion when you were down they kicked you while you were down they didn't do what you expected them to to do in your time of weakness but spirit says surrender frustration and surrender worry it was all spiritually orchestrated so that you can see those who you need to share your ideas with share your successes with share your failures with and who not who you're not supposed to, to share those things with you know but it says the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath center yourself and regroup go back to the drawing board right so you may approach the situation more calmly and from a better rejuvenated renewed space be yielding and not rigid when you see these people for who they are with surrender your need to always be right don't throw it in your fa in their face like I knew you wouldn't shit you ain't, or whatever no you ain't gotta do that you know let them be like yeah you right let them give others the gift of being right <laughs> yeah you got me but the really the joke is on you because spirit didn't let this work work out so I could see who you really were if you should be in my intimate circle or not you know surrender worry it says make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life when worries arise breathe them out breathe them out of your body focus on the power of your heart and have faith focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always surrender worry about these people that spirit allowed to gloat for a little bit it's only for a short time it's only going to be for a short time 
spirit needed you to see who they were. You know. So that you could walk away. If need be. Let's see what's up. That's why you were going through this mental confusion. And then we have the two of two of swords. There was something there were some people around you that you just refused. You refused to see them for who they really were. And spirit is putting it in your face. Blatantly. So now you can see what you need to see to decide whether you're going to stay stagnant and keep these if you choose to keep these people around and to have them in your intimate circle and share intimate things with you may have, you know what I'm saying you're going to remain stagnant but if you regroup you know recompartmentalize these people know that some things you just got to keep to yourself you cannot share this with this particular person spirit is bringing you clarity and if you see that and you do that you keep them you remove that block you you dissolve that block and in dissolving that block you dissolve that frustration that has kept you from moving forward and look at this one one more card ace of inspiration and then that's that fire that fire can come back in the the passionate you know um passionate childlike imagination energy can come in that leap of faith you can just heal that the joy and the happiness in moving forward you can regain that because you've released that burden of frustration you release that burden of those negative people around you so yeah that's what I have I'm gonna end the message right there I hope that helped in some way shape form or fashion I love you all collective and until the next time peace I move my little screen over here <laughs> that's why I'm